<laughs> Your mom is asking Chloe, is Chloe there? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I'm probably going to get that from a few parents because I just said I'm waiting for three more. Oh, forgetting that some parents are at work. Okay, so Janine, Evelyn, and who's my last one? Owen. Owen, yes. Um. Okay, so as soon as I finish this, we're going to start. Okay, so how is everyone? Good? Good, good, good. Raymond, you were able to fill that one in, I assume? Good. Good, good. Um, let's do, first of all, we're going to do language first again today. Uh, who is enjoying the novel so far? And this is an opinion question. So thumbs up. T and Liam, can you please leave your videos on? Mr. Soleil, good, good. I watched, the, I watched the videos just I didn't put any questions in yet. Okay, thanks, guys. What was I your comment? I watched the videos, but I didn't put uh the answers. The the answers for the questions in yet. Okay, so you gotta do that today. Because today yeah. I'm gonna I'm meeting with a couple of kids after this meet today, and anyone who's still behind will be making a date. So get yourself caught up because I I know it's fun to you know get together and hang out, but I'm sure you have better things to do. So just get your work done. L, I think you had suggested we have a meet, or no, that was Carlos yesterday. L, are you getting caught up? Because otherwise we're gonna have to get together for a meet. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, a little bit after the meet today. Maybe okay. a little bit after the meet tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, and really, those of you who are caught up, how much time are you spending after our meet? In all, all honesty, Ryder, how much do you spend? Five minutes? Really? Right after the meet? No, to get your work done. How long? To get your work take? done? Yeah. Like in the day? Oh, like during the day? Yeah. You said after the meet. Um, like... Yeah, I mean, 20 after minutes. How much? 20 minutes. 20 I do mine before now, and it takes me like 20 minutes. Perfect. Chloe, what about you? I don't do any work before the meet, but after the meet, I normally work till 12 o'clock. Okay. So you're so done by noon every day, and you have the afternoon. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. And so usually I go golfing. Yeah, Liam, you often try and get your daily stuff done before, right? So do you think what I'm assigning is manageable? Yeah, okay. I just didn't get it done last night. Yeah, okay. And you know work because my dad was going home today, yeah. to work today for a couple of weeks, so. Yeah, so yeah. I just did it you know, with him. Yeah, you gotta prioritize and that's fine. But, I mean, this is what I do. I check things off as you hand them in. So I can tell, like, Liam, yeah, you were good all except well, you and I discussed yesterday, Liam, you got to do Thursday, Friday, Monday, and yesterday, right? Yeah. But up until then. Well, yeah. No, not Monday. Uh, oh, yeah. You're right. You have the check mark for Monday. You're right. Oh, no, no, no. Let's see. Am I looking at the right one? No. You got to check and see if you forgot a question or something. Right. And as I double checked last night. And like, if, this is just for like the journal questions, right? Yeah, yeah that's basically all I'm doing. Yeah. So that's just what you want me to do. I'm done the rest. Just journal okay. questions. Yeah. Okay, that's that's novel. novel questions. Yeah. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Because uh, your story's good. You did the pizza thing. So, yeah, you just got to catch up on novel questions. So it's manageable, guys and ladies. And like I said before, you're not going to get out of it. You're going to have to do it when you come back. So it'd be easier to spend the 20 minutes, half an hour now be caught up and get a little pat on the back from your teacher, then leave it all till we get back. Good morning, Carter, how are you? <laughs> still asleep? Yeah, okay, so we're still missing Carlos and Owen, correct? Oh, let's see. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, sorry, Carter, did you message me? Sorry, I may be, 
Yeah, my messenger is on a different screen and I didn't notice. Okay. Yep. No worries, buddy. All good. Um, so I had marked you as late, but I'm going to erase that because you had messaged me. So thank you. Not late anymore. All righty. So I had said we're going to do our uh, daily LA first. So if you can grab that out. Oh, here we go. One more. Uh, I can't get a hold of it. <laughs> okay, this is really funny. <laughs> Maybe I should phone Owen's house because his mom says, I can't get a hold of anyone at the house. Sorry, <laughs> I won't be back there for a bit. And what day was it he answered the phone during the meet? <laughs> So maybe I should just try and call him. Oh, dear. Okay. We are on Wednesday, correct? Correct, Mundo. I have the day right. Let's do our sentence first. Have you drew an animal on the mural yet? Have you? I'm supposed to have this written out. My bad. Uh, animal on the mural yet. Okay, who has my first correction? I'll make this so you can see. Uh, Elliot. Oh, it says you joined. Do you have your hand up? Help, give me something, please. Capital H on have. Good, thank you. Capital H on have. And what's next? Have you drew an animal on the mural yet? There's just things that sound bad there. Do you guys want me to turn the light off? Is this glare hard or is it okay? I can still see it pretty clearly. Okay. Look hard up. There, if I move it up higher, then it doesn't have the glare there. Is that better for, and you guys didn't seem to think it was bad. Is it bad now, Chloe? No? Okay. Uh, what's next? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Tanton, what's next? Liam, where are you? I can't see you. Have you ever drew? Um, good morning, Carlos. You could put ever in there, but it still doesn't make drew correct, honey. Oh, Liam's getting attacked. Whoa, puppy's happy. Tanton, what should this? Have you... What sounds better? Liam, you're correcting as we go. <laughs> Tell puppy it's school time now. Carlos, we're starting on daily uh, LA, please, bud. So Tanton, what should it be, honey? I don't know. Have you what should it be? Rider? Draw. Draw. There should be a letter on the end. ED. Rod. Drawed. Is that a word? <laughs> Have you ever heard of the word drawed? Did you say me, Mrs. Pasoli? Yeah, I sure did. Drawn? Yes, thank you. I don't know who said drawed, but yes, drawn is the correct word <laughs> to use with have. It's like um, if you say he has drawn a nice picture, whenever you have a helper verb, you have to use drawn. Yeah. Liam, are you able to get these done with your puppy's assistance there? Yeah. Okay. So have you drawn a animal? Carlos, what's the next thing I got to fix? Good morning, Owen. Hi. <laughs> Not good, just morning? No, I woke up at 5 and then I fell back asleep. Oh, Owen, we were so tempted to phone you and see if you'd answer the phone. You you answer it during my meet, but not when you're supposed to. <laughs> okay, Carlos, what should this be? Have you drawn at animal? What do you put in front of it since this is a vowel? Period? No. A comma. 
Wait, what? Since oh, this, and. What is it? Sorry. And. Yes, an animal on the mural yet. What's left to fix, Carter? Oh, Carter, did you leave a message? Sometimes you gotta yell. Uh, period. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah. Have, have you drawn an animal on the mural yet? Is it a period kind of sentence? It's Ryder's favorite kind. Oh, question mark. Thank you, sir. I was muted. Oh, I see. I don't know. Do I need Why to? Why does the A under animal have a line? Oh, there was a dot there, maybe? Right there? Uh, no, that's an, isn't it? Yes. But then animal. There's a line. Well, I was telling, I was asking one of the kids, if this is a vowel, what does this need to be? Sorry about mm -hmm. that. You asked that, and I was looking at this. Yeah, so an animal. Okay, if you've done that, um, we can put the, oh, no, no, no. we got to go on to number three. So Owen and Carlos, I was explaining to the kids that if you're not caught up, I'm, I'm scheduling meets, individual meets with kids to get them caught up. So I have a couple today. If you're not caught up by tomorrow, I'll schedule some more. And if you need help, that's fine. It's like Mrs. Shedlowski said, just ask. This isn't easy, so we got to figure it out. Okay, can I put this away? Are we good? Owen's good. He was maybe the last one. Okay, so we're on number three then. Um, give the comparative and superlative of the word busy. So this is like if I said, um, Reed is busy, Raymond is busier, and Elliot is busiest. How do I spell busier? Because that's your comparative. That'd be like if you're comparing two people. You might say, of Ava and Chloe, Chloe is busier. How do you spell busier? Carlos. Uh, I-E-R? I yes. B-U-S-I-E-R. You drop that Y, add the I-E-R. And uh, Carter, what about busiest? B-U-S-S-I-E-D. Oh, no, I-E-S-T. Yes, thank you, sir. Just one S. Busiest. So that might be like if I said, of Carter, Reed, and Raymond, Raymond is the busiest. You use this when you're comparing three or more. And comp you, and uh, so this is your comparative. This is your superlative. You use this for three or more people, and you use this for two. Okay? All righty. So everyone should have that one spelled right. And number four, what is the meaning of this figure of speech? Don't worry about paying me back for the drink. The cost was just chicken feed. Whoops, sorry about that. What does, what does chicken feed mean? Cheap. Thank you, Owen. It's cheap. Yeah. Chicken feed is not cheap. <laughs> They're cheap, Chloe. But he means, she means chickens the, are, but chicken feed is not cheap. Do you buy chicken feed, Chloe? Well, before, when we had chickens, we did, yeah. Because when we had chickens, they often got, uh, like, the old grain or... We got oh. this, we, then, we had this feeder thingy, and then yeah. we'd fill it up with chicken food, and then every once in a while, we just have to fill it up. Oh. We have chickens. And do you buy food for them, Ava? No, they just get, like, leftovers, like, they'll get... Yeah, one cores and stuff like that, or right, just leftover stuff. I was gonna say but, it's almost like feeding pigs. You don't really buy extra. It's kind of they get the slop or the the scraps out of the house. But eat. the chicks, they have um different chick stuff, and it's 
Right. A little, it's you have money. to buy that. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, like oh if it's that chick feed, then I'd say that's wrong. But when they get bigger, they can eat big food, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this means cheap, cheap, cheap. Give the complete subject of this sentence. Who knows what a subject does in a sentence? What does it do? What does it do? Carter, do you know? What is That's this? the person? Yeah, it's the person or the thing doing the action. And if it's the complete subject, it's the person or thing and any words describing it. So what is the person or thing doing the action in that sentence? Tanton, what's doing the action there? Tanton, what's doing the action there, honey? I'm looking. Oh, okay. Everyone should be looking on theirs too. So person or thing doing the action. Ben? Yes. So Ben is the person, but now what words describe Ben? Owen. So this is part of it. What describes Ben? Friend. Yeah. What else? Carlos? My artistic friend. Yeah. That whole section, artistic describes Ben, friend describes Ben, and my is part of the adjective group. Yeah. So Carter said, artistic friend, my can be in there too, because it's a pronoun describing him as being your friend. So, so you just want us to circle that? Yeah, you can just circle it, underline it, as long as I can see what you've identified there. Sorry, my cat is being bad. What was the answer? You, what is the noun, honey? The noun? Um, yep. Yeah. Who's the ben? person? Yeah. And what words describe Ben? Artistic and, and oh. artistic and friend. Oh, no. What's that doing? <laughs> well, he's. I don't know what his problem is, but he's rolling around on the table. And I'm trying to do my work on, and he's getting hair <laughs> all over it. And then now he just. I had a bowl of cereal, so I had some milk left over, and he just smacked his paw on the edge of the bowl and dumped it all. Oh, kitty cats, bad cats. No. Um, well, you can also include my. My can be considered part of it because it's a pronoun telling that it's your friend. Okay. So all four words at the beginning. Um, we will do that in a minute. We'll do our daily LA, folks. Math, math. We just did daily LA, duh. Okay, I got to get rid of these. Then when I go to photocopy it, I'm going to give away the answers. Okay, so Wednesday. Oh, these are always fun because they're geometry, which is pretty easy. How are a triangle and a hexagon different? Who can tell me how many angles in a triangle? Al, how many angles in a triangle? Oops, sorry, you're getting your math out. Three. Yep, three angles. And what else can you tell me about it, Raymond? It has a triangle has three angles and three what? Points. Okay, yeah, like vertices. Okay, what else does it have that there's three of? Anyone? Ryder? Sides? Yeah, so three angles, three vertices, three sides. Now, what about a hexagon? What a, do you remember what hex? How many sides, angles, vertices that would have? Chloe? Thank you, Ryder. They have five sides? That's pent. Remember hex? Um, Here, I have to eight? show you the the uh, 
Remember the poster? It's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> there? Yeah, that's better. Um, Can you see hex? Kind of. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. For hex? Eight is octagon. Hex? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, five. That's nope. pet. <laughs> it's the um it's the one let's see can i point to it it's the brown one my finger's too close look at brown all one. giving you a hint Is brown one on there oh one i don't even know 12? Right, Not 12 right under the yellow one yeah i can't count it because the background is brown too oh um, yeah everyone give her a hint you guys <laughs> <laughs> oh I did like all the numbers around that. Uh, you did. So what is it? Six. Yeah, good job. You win. So yeah, <laughs> getting applause from your friends. So yeah, hexagon, six angles, six sides, six vertices. So tell me something that's different about them. I mean, right there, we've given you quite a bit to go on here. Mine's scribbly. Uh, Chloe. Oh, oh, Do I tell you something that's different? Sure. Um, well, a triangle has three sides, and the hexagon has six sides. There you go. That's one thing. Yep. And that would give you the mark. Good morning, Everett. Hi, Al. You can, uh, do you have a question, hon? I looked at Elliot's work. Did you? I fixed some of the mistakes that I found, and there was quite a bit of error. Oh, but you were the one that already checked it. <laughs> yeah, you typed it. No. Okay. Mom typed it, and oh. I checked oh, it. Oh, yeah. I helped. Okay, that's good. I will look at that this afternoon. Thank you for helping out. Good oh. editing, good teamwork. Thanks. So so okay, number two, lines of symmetry. Remember, a line of symmetry will divide that thing exactly in half that both sides are exactly the same. How many lines of symmetry there? How many lines? This is your shape. Read. Uno. Uno. Read says one. Would it be this one right here, Reed? Yep. So yeah, the letter V has one line of symmetry right down the middle. Um, isn't there, there's two. Okay, how else would I divide it, Chloe? Because you can do it down the middle, and then you can, after you folded it like that, you can fold it again down. Oh, but it's always from the original state. How many lines when it's in its original state? Oh. So just as this. Yeah, so then I'd say that's one. And then could I draw one this way? No. No because it's the original picture. How many lines can divide it exactly in half? So just one. What about number three? What do you call that, Owen? What tran what transformation? Reflection, translation, or rotation? Because uh, this is... Uh, I know how the easy word is. Okay, yeah. It's slide. It's, it's a slide. Now, which one of these is a slide? Translation. That's right. This is a slide. Uh, Liam, do you have this done? What did you put for number three? Slide. Okay, but it gives you reflection, translation, or rotation. You got to pick one of those words. Oh. Um, switch it to the correct term here. Which one is it? Translation. Yes, so make sure you write that down, please. Number four. How many faces does a cylinder have? So this is basically how many sides. Clo? Let's see if I can get this one right this time. Yeah. Um, two. And what are they, Clo? Like the edge, like the sides. I don't know because it says sides. Um, like the sides of it, not the like circular. I can't talk now. Um, circular part, but like the edges of it. Okay, so here's what you have to do is if there are kind of two ways to look at this. And I know Mr. Uh, Knight talks about his 
class with this. So you got to be watching here. Liam, pay attention, please. So a cylinder looks like this. Okay. Whoops, poorly drawn. I need my artists here. So that's what a, whoops, that's what a cylinder looks like. So when you look at it like this, you might say, well, here's a face and here's a face. But if we expand a cylinder, here is what it looks like, right? Because the middle, it's like if you chop a juice box, Liam, put away whatever you're on so that uh, you can pay attention, bud, please. Um, if you chop a juice box in, you know, slice it open, Liam, I'm not kidding, man. Put it away and pay attention, please. Okay. If you slice your juice box down the center, you have your two and circle parts and your middle rectangle. Okay. So now how many faces do I have, Ava? Three. Three. So we're going to our answer is going to be three and we're going to say if expanded so everyone i want you to look at it that way okay so three if expanded And number five, you guys can do that one based on our discussion about number three. Okay, Ryder, go ahead, bud. Did you still need this? Um, What am I doing? Did you still need this? Oh, no. Oh, I just saw you waving on the screen, so I didn't know if oh. you needed them. No? Okay. No. Put your daily math away. That's it for today for that. And um, are we doing our crossword thingy? We will be, yes. And it's going to be like quick. I'm going to have each one of you share one answer and then I'm going to give you the rest. Okay. I want you to get out your F. What numbers are on these again? F52, please. And I believe. We should be able to have, yeah, thank you, Ryder. Correct me if I'm wrong. Do we have the two bottom ones? This is hard because Carlos doesn't have his. And then I got to send a new picture to Ava's mom of the new one. My bottom row has some on it. Not my bottom row, my uh, second Hello. row. I got the wrong one. Okay. Um. I have two rows. I, grab, I can go grab the other one. I don't have two rows left. Huh, do you have one row, Owen? Yeah. So, and Ava, do you have one row? Yeah. Car, uh, you know what, Chloe, do it the way uh, Carlos does it. Just look at this and you can write it down. Because what I'm going to do, do I'm going to give you 30 seconds. And I want you, and this time I'm going to cover what I don't want you to do, because I know last time someone got mixed up. Okay. What do we do? I forget. I couldn't find my old one, Mrs. Pasoli. So you can do it like Carlos is, Ryder. Just grab, like you can even do this on the back, in the back of your daily math on a okay. piece of loose leaf. Yeah. So what I'm going to have you do is we're going to put these in lowest terms. So we got to see what number we can take out of the top and the bottom and make the smallest possible fraction. Okay. Okay. But I have some people missing here, so we got to wait for them to get back. Sorry, I'm trying to get this so that. Wait, like, Lois, like you see how many times nine can go into 36? Well, it might be like that, Chloe. An example. Wait, no. I'll be right back, Mrs. Yes. Okay. So, like, if our our uh, fraction is six over um, forty-two, we want to reduce this to the lowest fraction. So, what can we take out of the top and bottom so that this fraction is as small as it'll go? Oh, six. Yeah. So I'd go six divided by six is. One and then forty-two. Seven. So we have one seventh is our smallest. Right. I forgot how to do that. No, that's okay. 
Okay, so we're waiting for um who's this? Owen and Liam. So you guys get ready. I'm gonna put 30 seconds. You shouldn't be starting that though. Uh, what? Okay, so Carter. Oh um, where you be? Are you there? Carter, do you have the bottom? Uh, you have the bottom one of this. Like the bottom row. Yeah. Okay. Now is everyone back? Tanton, turn your camera on. Sorry. Tanton, turn your camera on, buddy. Are we doing F53? 52. The bottom row, because I still got to send Ava's mom F53. Thank you, Ava. So it's the one we've been working on all along. T, turn your camera on. I grabbed the wrong one. Oh boy. Okay, you guys got to maybe just keep your school stuff together and organized. Now what are we doing? Did you go get F52 mad minute? Yeah, I'll go get it. <laughs> okay. So, so quick. I have like everything right around me. I have I'm on my desk. Good for you. Yeah. Then. Silly. Kind of I what like, I try and do is keep it all together. You're silly. Yes, Raymond. I have like my hand, like my dirty clothes hamper, and like a little shelf here. Yeah. And, and you put it all I, on there. I put all my work like in between both of those two. Cool, cool, cool. I just all my work is just in my room, and then I bring it out to wherever I want. Right, you do um your schoolwork in the laundry room then. No, you have a desk right beside it. No, this is my room. He said his laundry basket, like where you put your dirty clothes. Yeah, in. but doesn't his mom come and get his laundry basket or he takes it? Maybe he'll take his schoolwork with him one time. Oh, jeez. It's like right beside it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right beside it. And that, right, what next to it? Your clothes hamper. All okay. right. Um, we'll give Tanton 10 seconds and then I'm just going to give you 30 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, it's right there. Five, four, three. Okay. T did you find it? Here we go. We're doing the bottom row of F 52. Ready, set, go. I can't remember how to do these now. Okay, well, remember I was saying if it's like 6 over 42, I can divide 6 by 6, 42 by 6. My Then I can reduce it to 1 over 7. That's the lowest it can go. That's what we're doing. <laughs> you want 10 more seconds? I didn't even get one done. Okay. Same. I got, I got two. I got three done. Go. I got you one. Got Not even. I got pretty much. Well, no, I, I got my row go. done. Keep going. I gave you 30 more seconds. Okay. Okay, so we just wanted to do a quick little activity there. If you didn't get them all, it's fine. Let's see what you did get. I got done the whole row. Okay. Uh, why did the 10 seconds feel longer than the 30 seconds? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, actually, I gave you one seconds the second time too, Carter. I just hit go again. Okay, here we go. 36 over 9. Should be four over one or four. Either of those would be correct. I got one over three. Oh, 
I meant to do three over one. Oh, no, that's four. Never mind. I'm just stupid. <laughs> it's okay. Five over 10 should be one half. Three over 18 should be one sixth. Carlos, are you marking yours? You're not even looking. Mark the ones you've done. I started with four over one or four for there. One half for the second one, Carlos. Did you do these? Carlos, did you I, do this? I tried. Okay, well, and now you're not even paying attention while we mark them, though. Pay attention, please. Five over 10 was one half. Three over 18 is one sixth. 10 over 10 is one over one or just one. 12 over 24 is one half. Four over 16 is one fourth. Three over 15 is one fifth. Do I keep going? Yes. 30 over 9 would be 10 over 3. 3 over 12 is 1 quarter. And 10 over 16 would be 5 over 8. Did anyone hand up in the screen? Did anyone get all that they did right? I don't care if you finished them all. I missed over half of them. But the ones you did, did you do them right? No, like I mean, I didn't get them with the mark. Okay, who got one wrong of the ones you did? Anyone? Who got two wrong of the ones you did? No? Chloe, how many did you do? I did the full row. Oh, and how many? But I don't know what any of the answers were. Oh, when I was saying the answers, you didn't see them? I couldn't hear you for a couple seconds. Oh, and Carter, you're not seeing the same thing that I'm pointing to? Because this is F52, Carter. I know the hole's punched out, but on the other side, it says F51. Whoops. So the other side is F51. When I flip it over, F52 is on the back. Yeah. Are those things answer, you're doing, Carter? The first one is 10 over 20, then 27 over 9. Oh, we did the bottom row, though. Because oh. some people had already done the second last row. So that's why I just said do the bottom. Oh, you and I can go over that other row when we're talking later. Yeah. So, which ones did you miss? Do I start here? Yeah, just start from the start again. Okay, just... that was four or four over one, then one half, then one sixth, uh, one over one or one, one half, one quarter, one fifth. I got four over four. But four divided by four is one. 16 divided by four is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Three over 15 is one fifth. 30 over nine is 10 over three. Three over 12 is one quarter. No, yeah, one quarter. 10 over 16 is five over eight. I got all of them right except for two. Good. Good job. Proud of you. Okay. And Ava, I'll send your mom the new ones for a later date. Okay. Uh, you need to open up your scribbler and we're going to do a few more math questions. And these will help you with the Google form that you will be doing tomorrow for math. Cause this is pretty well the end of our chapter guys and ladies. And I know you guys did fractions online last year. So I'm trying to make this as comprehensive and understandable as possible. So I'm yes, sorry. What are we doing now? You're opening up your math scribbler. Oh, and I'm going to give you more questions. We did four yesterday. So number five, our last one yesterday, I believe you turned 21 over five into a mixed number, correct? Was this the last one yesterday? Yeah. And did we give the answer? Yeah. So we said it was four and one fifth, correct? Yeah, good. Okay, number five, your improper fraction that you're turning into a mixed number, 54 over seven. So remember, if you can't get it, you do division. This is inside the book? No, these are questions I'm giving you and you write them down in your scribbler. Carry on from yesterday. Starting at four? 
Well, you should have done four yesterday, Raymond. Start at five. I made a line. This is where we left off yesterday. So do 54 over seven as a mixed number. Okay. And as I said, if you do these and you know what you're doing, you'll do well on your Google form. But if you have trouble, you can look back at these to help you do the Google form. Thank you, Carter. Into a mixed number? Mixed number, just like there. And I, I had said to kids, if you need to, do your dividing. I think Liam's dog took the camera over. I can just see him in the corner there. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so T, can you turn your camera on, buddy, just so I see that you're there? And you should can, be doing these in your scribbler. I can't see anybody except for you and Reed and oh. Carlos now. And now Tanton. Oh. Thank you, Boo. Thank you, T. Okay, oh, can you see the question, though? Okay, so let's give an answer here. So how many times does seven go into 54, Reed? Seven times. And then seven times seven is 49. You are subtracting. Elliot, what am I left with when I subtract? Whoops. That's 14 minus nine. L, pardon. L, what's 14 minus 9? I'm. Yeah. I... Thank you. So here is our whole number, 7. And here is our leftover, which is our numerator. And our denominator always stays the same. And that's the number in front. So everyone should have had 7 and 5 sevenths. And how can you double check your work to see that you're right? Liam, do you know what I can do to check to see if I'm right? No? Tell me how to change this into an improper fraction, Liam. Thank you, Carter. We got to reverse it. How do we do that, Liam? You know, we did this yesterday. How do I change this into an improper fraction? Remember the two little signs between the numbers? What do I do? Times and add it? That's right. Mm -hmm. Times the bottom, add the top. So, Raymond, seven times seven? 49. Plus five? 54. There you go. 54 over seven. You know it's right. You've just proven yourself. Okay. Number six. I want you to draw for me two and three quarters. And it can be pizzas, it can be squares, it can be anything. And then I want you to put your hand up in the screen when you're done. And then I, once everyone is done, I want you to hold it up so I can see it. I can't see the two, I'm confused, two and three quarters. I want you to draw that, Owen. Draw it as uh, pizzas or rectangles. Draw me this mixed number, please. Thank you, Reed. You're ready. Who else is ready? Little hand and thank you, Ryder. Your little white raised hand shows me you're ready. I'm confused. Remember how we've drawn these before, Liam? No, I don't. So remember, I often do this because... So here's one with four sections. So if I color them in. You gotta do two. So then you do two, two whole four. ones. So two whole ones and then three fourths of a second. Or you can do pizzas, Liam. 
if you ate two and three quarters pizzas, show me that. Okay, so either rectangles, whatever. Could even be like this. But you got to draw me two and three quarters. Um, okay, so Owen, if you're done, put your hand up. Now, can you what? <laughs> oh, are you talking to Chloe? Yeah. Chloe, can you see us? Good. Okay, I'm waiting for Tan. Before I couldn't hear or see anybody. Oh. And then I tried rejoining it and it didn't work. And then I just rejoined it again and now it worked. Yeah, okay. that happened with me too. I couldn't see Ryder, you. Ryder, your hand was up before. Are you done? And Ava, yeah. are you done? But I couldn't see or hear anyone either. Right, so you rejoined. Tanton, are you done? Okay, Owen, oh, enough. <laughs> Tanton, are you done drawing this, honey? Draw me what two and three quarters looks like. Is he there? Tanton, are you there? Can't see. Okay, everyone hold yours up to the screen and don't put it down till I say your name. Um, um, let's see, Raymond, you're done. Uh, Al, Al, which one only has three quarters? Carlos, what are yours? Uh, Reed, you're good. Carlos, I just can't see. Um, yes, Ava, you're good. Yes, Chloe, you're good. So, Carlos, what did you draw? Ryder, can you just hold yours down a little bit? I need, I'll look at Liam and Carter's in one minute. Yes, Ryder, you're good. Um, Liam, do you have two completely colored? Yes, you're good, Liam. Carter, can I see yours? Uh, Owen. Yes, Elliot, you're good, because I can see one quarter not colored now. Owen, I couldn't see yours, buddy. Did I say your name before? Um, yes, good. Tanton, I haven't seen yours. Carlos, did you? I yes, think. there we go. Woo, we all got them. Good job. Number seven. Story, I'll be right back. The cow is stretching through the fence. Oh, okay. Number seven. We're running a marathon. You guys are all running a marathon with Mr. Gardner and Mr. Arts. And we have water every quarter of a kilometer. Okay. And if the last water station is at six and three quarters kilometers, how many water stations do you have? Whoopsie. So how would we figure this out, guys and ladies? What are we going to do? Reed, what are you going to do? You change it to an improper fraction. Exactly. You're going to change this into an improper fraction, and then your numerator will show you how many water stations you have. So, Chloe, we're running a marathon with Mr. Arts and Mr. Gardner. There's water every quarter kilometer. So it'd be like if these are your kilometers, there's water here, there's water Whoops, that one's not big enough. There's water here. If you did six and three quarters of those, how many water stations would you have? So Reed said you can turn this into an improper fraction and your numerator will show you how many water stations you have. So turn that into an improper fraction. Uh, <laughs> Ryder, you're giving me uh, hand signals. One minute and. Okay, so if your hand is up, then I know you're done. 
Some people maybe still have theirs up. Oh, Reed, thank you for that close up of your teeth. <sighs> they are looking healthy. Tanton, I was just trying to grab something. Oh. <laughs> Tanton, are you still with us, buddy? Oh, okay. Okay, so hand in your screen if you need more time. You're, you're like like this. Okay, Owen, you need another minute then? Oh, you guys are joining and unjoining. Hi, T. Okay, T, were you able to do number seven with us, bud? Carter. Ed. What does that mean, Carter? Ed. Ed. I have an uncle, Ed. They're doing all these things that they text people like on Snapchat. I don't even understand most of the things. Like, I know what LOL means, but that's it. Okay, well, let's just stick with math for now, and then you guys can text each other later. Liam, what would you get making this into an improper fraction? How many stations? Um, 27 stations. Liam said 27. Does anyone have a different answer? or do that's we have no idea. Okay, well, Liam, remember you had just told me this is how you turn it into an improper. Yeah. Six. Okay, well, I hadn't said you were right or you're wrong, but then you said I have no idea. So I'm seeing if you were doing it right. Did you go four times six? Yeah. Plus three? Yeah. Okay, be confident and say that's how I did it. Did anyone have a different answer or do we all agree with Liam? Thumbs up. What was Liam's answer again? He said 27. Are there 27 water stations? Yes, you're wouldn't right. It, wouldn't it just be seven? But four times six. Yeah, but like if you drew that out, it would only equal seven. But you have six whole ones, right? I'm you good. Would end up drawing, you would end up drawing 27 of those, Chloe. You would only end up drawing, you would only draw six full ones and then three quarters of one, and then there'd be seven water stations. Chloe, each little block in those full ones are of water station. The lines I like. Said oh. Just the first one. There's four different blocks in each full water station. Chloe. Every yeah, but like she said that out of the four, the first one is a water station. Yeah, well, I said every quarter of a kilometer there's water stations, but you actually have 27 kilometers. Oh, well, I didn't hear that part. Well, see, because your last one is Maybe like six and three quarters kilometers. So. <laughs> So you have six full kilometers. That means if every quarter of one of those, you're going to have like 24 just in, just in those first six kilometers. Does that make sense, Chloe? Yeah. No, oh. So yeah, 27 stations. This maybe mixed you up. This was just showing that. Okay. Okay. So 27 stations, Tanton, did you understand that, honey? We just turned this into an improper fraction to figure out how many spots. Okay, next one. This is easy. You guys are going to be like, oh, Mrs. Bazzoli, too easy. Order these fractions, please. 11 ninths, 2 ninths, 3 ninths, 5 ninths. Ten I can't see your order. screen. There. 10 seconds to put those in order. I can't what see way? your screen. Which way? What way? Uh, smallest to biggest, please. Wait, wait, so it just goes to 11, 2, 3? There's only 3? No, it says 11 over 9, 2 over 9, 3 over 9, 5 we over 9. See yeah, after three over nine. You guys can't see? Can you see that? Yeah. 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 
No. The greatest? I want them smallest to biggest. I can't. Oh, okay. So that was first. Hello. 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 What are you doing? Hey, you better have these done, please. Liam, did you put these in order, smallest to biggest? Thank you, sir. Done. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Give me the first one. Elliot, which one's smallest? 11 ninths. Nope. No, if this is pizza, it's your smallest amount of pizza. Oh, two lines. Two lines. Smallest amount of pizza. Turn your mic off if you haven't been called on, please. Oh, Ava, what's my next one? Three over nine. Thank you. Uh, Liam, the next one. Um, five over nine. Yeah, please see it. Your screen and Carlos, last one. Eleven. Good, over nine. Okay, same. That was easy, right? Should have been. Now I want you to put these in order from smallest to biggest. But remember, these bottom numbers have to all be the same in order to compare them. So, what do you think will change? these numbers to the denominators need to be the same carlos every uh, five so you're going to change the two into a five every uh, yeah. and you got to remember you have a bigger one here owen oh, what the is ten? yes all of these have to be a denominator of 10. okay otherwise you can't compare them do we have to show our times in how do we do this? Well, Liam, that's why you got to make sure you're listening. I am. I just don't Love know how to do it. What order do we put them I in? I'm not listening when I'm on the other side, right beside yeah, me. But you're running around doing stuff. Just stay in front of your camera here. Oh, I'm I'm right the it's just not in front of the camera. Okay, we'll just sit and pay attention, and then it'll be easier and faster. Okay, so what do you times five by to get 10, Liam? Because we're looking at denominator. Uh, two. Yeah, so whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Carlos, have you done these? What order we do okay. we put them in? Smallest to biggest again. I mean, I'm going to brain for it. I'm stupid. I can't remember what seven times two is. Two groups of seven. Oh. 14. Thank you. Uh, 14. Yep. Bingo. Okay. Mrs. Oh, Pasoli. Yep. My mom, she bought this really cool cutlery case, and it is, it is it's cool. Wow. It looks like yeah. it's iridescent. Yeah. Is that mm -hmm. what has... Pardon? Is it iridescent? I think. Oh, it changed colors? Oh, no, no, no. Hmm. Is it solid silver? Because it looks kind of purple and green in the the way the computer shows it. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Okay. It's, it's, yeah. Here. Here, hold on. I'll get the case. I'll show you. Okay. Carlos, are you done the question? Yeah, I am. Okay. This is I can't see the other side of it. I'm having a complete brain block right now. I can't see the right side. There. What are you, what are you blockaging with, Liam? Everything. I can't think. 
Okay, well, to turn seven over five. I don't know what to start with. Pardon me? It's like, I have, I'm super confused. Well, we want to turn these all into a fraction over 10. Yeah. So five times two is what makes 10. That tells us we go to times seven by two. So this one would be 14 over 10. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, we got to do all of them first. Yeah, and then you can compare properly because you can't compare when your denominators are different. I got it. Okay, what does that look like, buddy? So this is the case. Mm-hmm. And this spoon. Wow, cool. Mm. That is nice. Big spoons and small spoons. Cool. And there's knives and forks. Is that what you're going to use every day? Probably. Oh. <laughs> I might. I don't know. Okay, so let's get going here. What did three over five turn into? Thanks for showing us, Carlos. Those were cool. Yeah. What did three over five turn into? Oh. Owen, what did three over five turn into? Three over five? That's six over ten. Thank you. And what did one half turn into, Liam? I'm still, I'm um, confused. I know. Elliot, what is it? <laughs> Ava's cutting us. What did one half turn into? That one's a no-brainer, you guys. What's one half? Over 10. Yeah, that one you shouldn't even have to think about too hard. So now put these in order. What's smallest, Ryder? Five. Five over 10 is smallest. Then what, Chloe? Six over 10. Good. Next one, Carla. Um. You should be looking at your Hold work. Part. Didn't you do it like this, Carlos? Raymond, what's next, buddy? 12 over 10. Thank you. Okay, and if you didn't do it this way, that's exactly what I asked you to do. Carlos, you look completely confused and you told me you were done. Ava, what's the last one? 14 over 10. Thank you. There we go. Leo, you go, buddy. Oh, there you are. Carter, where are you? Yes, Owen. This is really easy for me now. Is it? Good. That's what I want to hear. Because I know some kids are getting frustrated. And I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. Okay, here's one more. And then we're done comparing. So, we know we have to have denominators the same. But our first problem is one is mixed. And these are not. What do we have to do so that all of these are the same kind, first of all? What are we going to do to this guy? Ryder, what do you think we should do to this mixed one? Make it an improper fraction. Thank you, sir. So three, there's three times one is three plus two is five. So now at least we're looking at all the same format. But are all of our denominators the same? Owen, are they the same? So what am I going to do, O? I can't do the, letter, the numbers. What's yeah, that? I can't really either, but you obviously timed them. What did you say, Liam? I can't see the numbers. You had them down, like, too far. Is that better? Because yeah. what I see on my screen must be different than what you guys are looking at. Okay, so, Owen, what am I going to change them to? 
Um, change all all threes up to sixes. Thank you. So they all have to be a denominator of six. Obviously, if it already is, I just fill it in. So how do I change this one into six? What am I timesing by? Read says two. So whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. Five times two is... You guys do this one on your own. Four over three. Whoops. Miss Casoli, I can't see the top of it. That's better. That better? Thank you. Miss Casoli, do we order least to greatest or greatest let's, to least? Let's go greatest to least. So biggest to smallest for this one. Okay. okay. Liam, is it making more sense? No? Okay. Mm -hmm. So like, how, what do you times it by? Like, what are we trying to get to? Because we want, well, here we want them all to be sixes, Liam, because we can't. Yeah. Get them. So then I said, okay, this denominator is six or is three, but I need it to be a six. What did See, I time to get to six? So we need to get them to six. Yeah. Yeah. What did I times three by to get a six? Two. Yeah. And then that tells me what to times the top by. So whatever I times by to get that six, that tells me what to times the top by. Does that help? Are we still going to do social, Mrs. Pasoli? Well, I was hoping, Ryder, but I'll see, okay? Yeah, because it's already 11.20. I hear you. I was looking at that. I want to go back to bed. You woke me up. <laughs> well, sorry for your luck, Owen. <laughs> go back to bed? Seriously? <laughs> tired still? Chloe, I think boys sleep a lot. Hmm. Like, Ryder, what time did you sleep until this morning? I slept well, until 11. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carter, are you still with me, bud? Chloe, the only time I'm on the meet is if my mom's home and she can wake me up, or I'm waking up by mm -hmm. phone calls. I, after up, I wake up at 8 o'clock every single day. Oh my gosh, you guys can all talk at once. What is four over four over three as a fraction over six? Raymond? Eight six. Thank you, sir. And who remembers what we call these ones that we converted? So five over three and ten over six are hmm. Just like four over three and eight over six, what kind of fractions are they? Who remembers what you call them? Do you remember, Carlos? Who remembers what we call them? I'll be right back, Mrs. Basoli, but mine's all improper. done. Okay. What do you call them? Improper. Uh, yes, they are improper. You're right. But... Since they're equal, what's another word for equal when we're talking about fractions? They're the same amount. Read, do you remember? No? Equivalent. Oh. They're oh, equivalent yeah. fractions. Okay? So let's put these greatest to least. Liam, what was our biggest one now? Um, 10 over 6. Thank you, sir. Next biggest, Ryder. Eight over six. Good job. Next biggest, L. L. Oh, I can't hear you. What did you say? Seven over six. Yeah, good. And smallest one, obviously, then is our five over six. Okay. Okay. So that's ordering. Uh, two questions. No, one. Two, three questions, and, then, and they're short. Those were the longest. Give me the symbol that would go in the middle of this. Is this greater than, less than, whoops, greater than, less than, or equal to, guys and ladies? What goes in here? Greater than, less than, equal. Do we have to write this down? Yes, please. Oh, so, yes. Wait, what would go there? So is it greater than, less than, equal? Which one of those? Oh, 
Uh, Does the open part face the bigger one? That's right, Ryder. You don't even have to know the difference. Just always have the bigger side facing the bigger number. Okay, so what's your bigger number there? What's our biggest number, Carter? <laughs> Carter, are you with me? Mrs. Basoli, uh, my cat's very interested in schoolwork. Yeah, I can see that. What's your biggest number? Than you oh, oh, maybe, but I don't think she really likes me. I think she loves you. Chloe, what's your biggest number? The bigger one is five and one third. There. So you just put your bigger end to the bigger number. Um, okay, guys and ladies, I want you to turn this number into, uh, if you got six out of 20, on a test, what percent did you get? I can't see it. Oh, sorry, buddy. Wouldn't you have got question? Sixty percent. What? Is, what does ACK mean? I don't know. What was the question? Can we say the answer? Oh, when ACK spells something. Um, ask? Yeah, ask. It spells ask. Jesus. No, you spelled that wrong. It's A-S-K. Well, Carter yeah. was like, I oh, yeah, yeah, right. He meant to say back. How does ACK mean back? He, he forgot the B. Or you misclicked. Um, okay, guys and ladies, what is 6 out of 20 as percent? What was the question? Mrs. Bazzoli, I asked if it would be 60, would it be? So if you got 6 out of 20 on a test, would you get 60%? No. Oh. You didn't even get half. 10 out of 20. Would you oh, wouldn't it be 30? Okay, well, let's find out. What are you times 20 by to get 100? That's what percent is. Five? Out. Yeah, you times the bottom by five to get 100, times the top by five. So what's six times five? What's six times five? Liam? <laughs> He's kind of... I know, I know. You had your mic on, Liam. I think this is what you So yeah, it's 30%. Okay. Last question, guys and ladies. I want you to give me, because we just talked about this term, give me an equivalent fraction to one half. Any equivalent fraction. So whatever you times the top by, times the top bottom by the same number. Equivalent fraction. I'm kind of confused what a... What did I just do to my Chromebook? I don't know. Well, I click something, and now when I'm speaking, it puts the words at the bottom. You oh, and you click oh, to turn on. You, you turned on the captions. Look at the bottom. That's oh, just, that scared me, screen. guys. Oh, let's see. Okay, Mrs. Pusso. Oh, my cat stepped on my Chromebook. That's what it was. Whatever you times the top by, times the bottom by the same number. This is so easy. So we're timesing the bottom by to get to 100, right? No. Any number. Ryder, give me an equivalent fraction. 12 over 24. Thank you. Give me another equivalent. Raymond. I'll be right back. I just heard, I'm hearing something outside that's really weird. Well, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Can you give me five minutes, Carlos? Another one. Raymond? How many do we have to have? Just give me any one. Okay, two-thirds. Two thirds. No. Two thirds. Two thirds is not equivalent to one half, honey. Whatever you <laughs> by, you times the bottom by the same number. What did you times your top by? Did you times your top by two, Raymond? I think I understand. I think I have one. Raymond, do you want to give me a different answer? Because I know you know this.
No. Liam, you want to give me one? No. Give me something that's equivalent to one half. I have uh, one, Mr. Pistoli. Okay, just wait up. Mm, I don't know. I had 12, number 24. Okay, that works. Raymond? 612. Yeah, 612. Oh. Wouldn't there, what, couldn't one be two fourths? Yeah, Chloe? Three six. Yeah, Carter? Carter? He said I'm back, so I'm guessing that means he's back and not yeah, gone. Yeah. Give me an equivalent fraction to one half, please. Oh, two fourths. Thank you, Ava. 1836. Yes, perfect. Carlos. How many do we need down? You just need one. Oh, I have like six. Yeah, I'm trying to get one from everyone. But when I get to you and you don't answer, like, come on. Just give me any equivalent fraction to one half. The top is half as big as the bottom. Carlos, what's half of 10? Five. Yeah, five tenths works. Panton, equivalent fraction to one half. Uh, Ryder. Yeah? Give me an equivalent fraction, honey. I already gave you one. Okay, sorry, L. Thanks, Ryder. Two fourths. Yes, perfect. Okay, guys and ladies. This is for so I have one more. You didn't well, ask me. Oh, thank you. Oh, Ryder, or did I miss you? Yeah. Okay, what's yours? And then back to Owen. Fifty-two over a hundred and four. <laughs> that is equivalent to one half. Thank you, Owen. Your other one. Quick, quick. Because I think some people are. But 100 trying. over to be 200? Like 100 over 200? That, yes. That's, that's so easy. Because then you could have won 200 over 400. And then. Exactly. And then over all, something. My math skills aren't that good. But yeah. Those are all equivalent to one half. Easy schmeasy. Okay. Before you leave, Elliot, are, time? just wait. You can't leave until I say. Um, actually, Ava can go. Reed can go because you're all caught up. Ryder can go. Um, Bye. Chloe can go. Bye. 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 Don't anyone who haven't who I haven't said your name, you can't leave. Liam, what do you have? Owen, oh, just wait. Your I turn. just had those um thingies, the journal or whatever they are, novel. And if they're not done by tomorrow, then we have to have a meet. Yep. Okay, you can go.